Hi Techy guys, I am Nankisar Swami and today we will be continuing uh, our intelligent automation series and today we will be learning about how to build a chatbot using LangGraph. So let's go ahead and open up for Google and search for LangGraph. Once you are on the LangGraph page, just scroll a little, little down and you will find this button, Get Started with Python. Just go ahead and click on it. And here you will see there are seven parts to it, but we will be in this video, we will be covering uh, first one, part one, build a basic chatbot. And if you scroll a little down, then here you can see the codes uh, set up so just open up a kind of a directory where you want to create your uh, project so i'll just go ahead and one of the directory and i'll just create a folder i'll just name it uh, Langra and in the URL just type CMD and dot so this is basically just to open up that directory in Visual Studio Code you can also manually open up the visual studio code and go to the file and browse that uh, directory folder so once you open up the uh, visual studio code just create your virtual environment uh, so i'll go to the terminal and new terminal and write a command to create the virtual environment which is like a dot V E N V and the name of uh, our V E N V and hit enter. It will create the virtual environment for us. Let's wait for a second or two. Yeah, it's created. Now we just need to activate this virtual environment. So whatever the library that we are going to install that will be packaged under this uh, my VNV folder. Uh, let's go inside the my virtual environment and then the script and then activate. Hit enter. So here you can see our virtual environment is activated. Now go back to our uh, LangGraph page. Here you can see what all libraries that we need to install. So I'll just copy these and paste it here. By the time it is getting installed, we'll also create a Python. Uh, file where we will be writing all of our codes so i'll just give the name main.py and by the time it is getting installed we can utilize the same time to so at the quick start if we go through the documentation here we can see so quick start we will be building a support chatbot in LangGraph that can answer the common question by searching the wave maintain conversation state across call route complex queries to a human review use custom state to control its behavior and rewind and explore alternative conversations part we will start with the basic chatbot and progressively add more 
sophisticated capabilities introducing key line graph uh, concept along with the way so as part of setup we have already installed these uh, libraries that you can see the installation is completed and next one that we need is api key uh, but in this example uh langraph is using entropic entropic is a kind of model that require little uh, funding uh, to you need a subscription to use that entropic model uh, but in our use case since we will be using all uh, free setup so what we need to do is we need to first go to the hugging phase and you just need to create your account and uh, then you need to go to your uh, setting once you are done creating your login account in the hugging phase and then go for access token create or your access token and you just need to log in here using a command hugging face login command once you are logged in then go to the models and search for mistral 7 billion parameter model and just copy this detail just the model name so how we will be using it in our code that uh, again we'll go back to the land graph and if you scroll it little down here you find the code snippet just copy it and paste it in your main.py file again go back uh, here till now we don't see any model has been built on but what we are doing here is uh, setting up the message and if we scroll a little more down here you can see the model detail so just copy it and paste it once again let's go back to the line graph page scroll a little down and copy the next line of code go back to your code and paste it here again go back to line graph copy the next line of code and paste it then next line of code and paste it if you scroll a little more down this section we don't really need uh, just because this is uh, kind of uh, creating image of uh, what process flow our bot going to use that we technically don't need right now uh, but later on may, we may need so we'll scroll it a little more down and here, here you will see the actual final code that we just copy and paste it here and here we are ending with the first part of the code building the basic chat bot so if we scroll all the way on the top here what we are doing is we are setting up just the message instance uh and in the line 18 20 18 to 20 what we are doing is setting up the lm models instance using entropic model so since our use case we will be using a free model from hugging face so we just need another library which is langchain underscore hugging face so it seems like we need to install that so i'll just copy this one 
I'll go to Google and install here you can see the command to install this hugging face library go back to our code paste the command and hit enter I'll just correct the spelling and here we need chat hugging place. This error will go away once the library installation get completed. So let's give it a minute or two, get the installation completed. By that time, uh, the library is getting installed. We'll again go back to the Google and look for Hugging Face examples. And just open up the first link, scroll a little down. Here you can see this portion we need. We'll just copy and paste it in our code. Now again go back and this part also we need. So just copy and paste it here. So LLM is actually this one and this is just config. So we'll change it here. We can delete the line number 28 that we don't need. So what changes we have done is we just created an instance of hugging face model. Uh, uh, yeah, we also need to change this model name here. So I'll go back, go to hugging face, copy this part, paste it here. So we should be good now, uh, but since the library is not get installed yet, so let's wait for the get the library installed com installation completed. Yeah, here we can see the library installation is completed, uh, but we again seeing the error in line number 20. So just uh, mouse over on the error and click on quick fix and click on add from blank chain underscore hugging face import hugging face endpoint so once we click on it the error will go away so now uh, we don't see any error and let's add a breakpoint so we can step through the code and click on the debug python file here so far what we have done is we have just imported couple of libraries from line number one to line number six and then we are creating a class uh, with the name of state that will taking our uh, input parameter as a type dictionary and creating a message list that will contain all the human system ai all the messages as a list and here we are creating or building the graph builder uh, with the state graph 
and in the next line again we are importing one of the library to use the hugging face model and the model here we are using is mistral mistral 7 billion parameter model these are just configuration and in the line number 28 now we are setting up the instance of actual llm model By now, our model is ready, and if you want to invoke, you can start invoking it. So the instance is in model. I'll just copy and paste it here. I'll click invoke, and if we write a question for uh, this model instance and hit enter, it will provide us the accurate answer uh, here what we have missed is uh, llm which is uh, which should be a model so i'll just copy and paste it here now next what we are doing is we are creating nodes for our graph builder the first node uh, that we are going to start with the user message which is coming from chatbot and then uh, that message uh, will go for the start instance and by the response after getting the response will end it and then here in the line number 41 we are compiling our graph and next what you can see is uh, we are getting the user message and generating uh, the res model response and in the line number uh, this is a kind of while loop which will keep running until uh, we give a prompt with quit exit or queue uh, once we give this message then it will just say goodbye and end the message so let me uh, since we have changed this to the model uh, we need to stop it and run it again and this time i'll add a breakpoint to graph or the graph compiler i'll run it again now what you can see i'll just remove the breakpoint yeah so our graph compiler is ready with the graph and here it will look for the user input so i'll just say hi now what you can see it is checking if the user messages any one of these three if yes then it will break the loop here otherwise it will go check for the response now it's coming up with the user message and invoking the model here all the responses will be stored in message instance let's add a breakpoint to to the stream graph and again go back and run it so as a user input i'll just give hi now you can see if user input is one of these three then it's gonna break the loop since uh, user input is not one of the three then it is going to invoke the llm model here now it will generate the response which you can see it here as an assistant now the message will have the two list item one is a user input another one is assistant 
or AI message. That response you can see. So this is how our model is set up and it started working. In the next video, we'll see how our model we can make capable enough to start calling the tools or a bots or we can call it as agent as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.